Good day guys and welcome to our pre-recorded video lecture on Laws 1043 aka Regulatory Framework and Legal Issues in Business. And this is our continuation of our discussion on the Cooperative Code of the Philippines. Now, <clears throat> last discussion, we have ended with the definition and the differences between a cooperative union and a cooperative federation. And now we will discuss the specific functions of a federation and a union as well as the uh, membership requirements that we may have uh, in the um, conduct of our cooperative operations under the Cooperative Code of the Philippines. But before we start, um, I would like every one of you to please have um, their own um, opening prayers at home. I will give you some time to make your own prayer and you can pause this video as well. Okay guys, um, with that, let's begin. Now, we will discuss the functions of a federation. So, last time we have discussed that a federation, okay, a federation is different from a union in the sense that a federation, okay, uh, is a, or is a network of cooperatives with similar functions. It is a network of cooperatives with similar functions. So that is a federation of cooperatives. A federation of cooperatives. So last time we have also discussed the um, re uh, membership requirements or the registration requirements for a federation to exist. Okay, so please take note that a federation consists of cooperatives with the similar functions. Okay, despite the fact that they may be from other locations and they are dispersed uh, in a particular community or they are dispersed uh, nationwide or even province-wide, for example, okay? Um, they are being held connected together by a federation and this federation is meant to supplement, okay? Complement and augment, okay? It can complement, augment, or supplement. In other words, in other words, a federation supports supports the operations of a cooperative okay a federation supports all the operations of these cooperatives because after all at the end of the day diba lahat sila may isang similar function okay they have um they have this they have shared the same uh, exact purpose the same exact uh, operate uh, the same exact operations okay the same exact types say they are all uh, agricultural cooperatives or they are all agri reform the agrarian reform cooperatives or maybe they are all credit cooperatives that are under the financial um, setting or that are under the financial operations all of them have similar purposes okay and since since they are the network since they are a network okay um, the federation is sought or is uh, meant okay to complement the works of these primary cooperatives okay it supports these primary cooperatives that are under its membership okay it is not it does not in any manner conflict or compete with okay the business or the economic activities of the member primary cooperatives Okay, it does not disrupt the member cooperatives, but rather it uplifts them, it supports them. Yun ho, yung pinaka, okay, pinaka primary ho na function na federation. It's the most fundamental function of a federation. Okay? Now, if it's the most fundamental function, then we have the specifics. Okay? We have the specifics. Number one, of course, we have to um, understand that a federation is there to assist the members okay assist the um primary cooperative members to assist the primary cooperative members in educational and advisory work now this is one of the functions of support this is one of the function of support 
Why? Because it gives educational and advisory work relating to the members. Ibig sabihin nito. Ibig sabihin nito. The federation itself will support the educational um educational requirements or educational um ano tawag dito? or advisory initiatives that the primary cooperatives may have. So in terms of educational if say for example the office uh, of officers, the members or even um, the entire cooperative or primary cooperative itself wants to have uh, further studies in order to enhance the, uh, the operations of their cooperative, then go ahead. The federation can support you with that. Okay? O or if we are talking about advisory services, kapag naman sinabi nating advisory services, di ba we all know what advisory service is already, right? Uh, advisory service is there to give um, managerial advice or managerial um managerial decision or helping in any managerial decisions um, that may arise um, due to operations, due to financing, investments, etc. Okay, so this is advisory work. Okay, advisory work um, helps, okay, helps the member cooperatives in deciding um, economically. Okay, so it or managerially. So, managerial or economic decisions, okay, nandun po siya sa advisory work. And the federation can help with that. Again, educational and advisory is just a manifestation of the support function of the federation. Next, we also have, okay, to render services designed to encourage simplicity, efficiency, and economy, economy in the conduct of business. Okay? Simplicity, efficiency, and economy in the conduct of business. Now, ito pong services na to, sometimes these are auxiliary services. These are what we call auxiliary services. AKA support service. Support activities. Okay, support activities. Support activities can ano, can come in a variety of ways. So it can be a streamlining of operations, a streamlining of purchases. For example, for example, diba, may streamline ang entire purchase process um, by uh, the federation making a purchase on behalf of all the um, primary cooperatives. Pwede yun. Or um, uh, the streamlining of sales by a, uh, a federation-wide advertising in which the federation will do it in behalf of all the primary cooperatives. Pwede yon, Okay? Um, pwede rin yung mga ano, pwede rin mga support activities like um, streamlining of ICT processes or like if, say, the federation or the cooperatives have their own um, internal system or internal network, then the federation can um, the federation can merge all of those networks to make a communication better and more streamlined. Ganon, pwede rin. Diba? Basta, okay, basta, these services or these activities are designed to, okay, make, okay, make the, um, cooperative operations simpler, more efficient, and more economic. Okay? In nature. And syempre, okay, hindi na mawawala ang implementation ng bookkeeping, accounting, and um, other important systems and procedures. Like yung sinabi pa ka kanina, ICT, or information technology, or computer technology. Okay, hindi yun mawawala. Advisory work, accounting, bookkeeping, okay, finance work, treasury, okay, lahat ho ng mga yun, pwedeng i-facilitate ni Federation of Cooperatives in behalf of the um primary cooperative members which is actually okay which is actually the very essence of a support activity support activity okay so kung mapapansin niyo lahat ho ng mga to yung 2 to 7 okay yung 2 to 7 lahat ho yan for the benefit okay or for the support of the members which are actually primary cooperatives di ba napag-usapan natin yan last time that a federation okay has uh, members which are primary cooperatives. 
and therefore, okay, and therefore, the federation should, okay, be there, should be um, established, not just in behalf of the um, primary cooperatives, but also for and on the support of the primary cooperatives. Okay, so yun ho yung um, function ng isang federation. Okay, yun ho yung mga functions ng isang um, federation. Ayan. So, like that, o, diba, print and circulate any newspaper in the interest. Okay, so that is one way of advertising, diba? So, kapag, eh, kapag pinapublish ho natin yung, um, kapag pinapublish ho natin yung prime interest ng mga members, Okay, the identity of the members or the member cooperatives themselves, diba? we are um, giving support. Okay, we are giving support to the primary cooperatives. Okay, so facilitating and coordinating activities like say for example, yun nga, yung kanina, yung um, sale, sales activities, purchase activities, we are doing it in behalf of the primary cooperatives. For example, advertising, um, client relations, diba? investment relations, pwede ho nating i-coordinate yon with the primary cooperatives. Si, si Federation of Cooperative ang bahala doon. They can do it also in behalf of the primary cooperative. Okay? So, yun ho yung uh, mga functions ng Federation of Cooperatives. Now, feel free to pause this video and make a screenshot of all the um, all of the writings that I have made on the board. And with that, we go to the next type of um, cooperative. So, kung may, may federation ho tayo, mga kaibigan, okay? Kung may federation ho tayo, meron din ho tayong union. Okay? Union. Wait lang. Kung may federation ho tayo, mga adi, meron naman ho tayong tinatawag na union of cooperatives. Okay? So, aka the cooperative union. Okay? Cooperative Union. Ngayon, ano naman ho pinagkaiba nila with the Federation of Cooperatives? So last time, we have discussed the fact that a union is just a, um, anong tawag dito? It's just a network of cooperatives that are under a similar uh, location or a similar uh, community background. Okay, so they are not necessarily the same in terms of um, their purpose, their primary purpose, their primary operations, their primary functions. They're not the same as to its type. Okay, but they are just within a particular, okay, a particular, uh, dito? particular location. They're just within a particular location. So, di ba, ma ma maalala natin yung mnemonics natin um, to distinguish between a cooperative union and cooperative federation. Kapag sinabi natin union, bound by location. Pag federation, bound by purpose. Okay? Yun ho yung, ano, yun ho yung distinguishing factor natin between a federation and a union. Now, ano naman ho yung mga functions ni cooperative union? Basically, okay, basically magkaiba ho sila because unions are just representatives. Okay? Unions are mere representatives of the, um, Um, representatives of its members. Yeah. Okay, so these these unions are representatives of the member cooperatives. So yun ho, yun yung pinaka, ano, yun yung pinaka, ano, pinaka, pinaka primary na dahilan kung bakit ine-establish ang mga cooperative unions. They are there to represent the member organizations. So representation is actually very important for cooperatives, especially, especially or, or specifically in many national conventions, conferences, kasi minsan, maraming mga um maraming mga ano maraming mga conferences that are being done um for the benefit of cooperatives okay for the benefit of cooperatives uh and uh, it pays for the cooperatives or for primary cooperatives that are small and sometimes have no voice to be represented to be represented 
Okay, at least kapag may representation ang mga maliliit na cooperatives dito sa Alcala or dito sa uh, o dito sa Bagao, Alcala, Amulong area for example, di ba? At least um, they have wider reach, kumbaga. They have wider reach and that is one of the functions of a co one of the functions of a cooperative union. For representation, it represents their member organizations. Okay, it represents their member organizations. Ayan. So, okay, Ayan. so again, they can be represented on a provincial-wide, city or regional, and even national levels. Okay, may mga union ho na may iba-ibang um, way or iba-ibang type ng location type. So, say a union under a provincial-wide, uh, yon a provincial-wide setting. So, it is a union of cooperatives in Cagayan, for example. Pwede rin, um, a union of cooperatives that are located in Tugigraw City. A union of cooperatives that are located on the first district of Cagayan. So, kapag ho sinabi natin, first district is yung mga um, towns ng Alcala, um, Gataran, Lalo, and some other, ano, some other towns above there. <laughs> okay? So, meron ding mga district 2, 3, ganyan, diba? So, Pwede hu yun. Pwede ring hatian hu yun. Pwede ring regional, okay? Or the list or the union of all cooperatives in region 2. Or national levels, okay? Um, unions in the Philippines. Diba? Madami hong ganun. Now, yun nga, aside from representing the member organizations, okay? To, aside from representing the member organizations, a, a, a cooperative union also exists to, okay? Acquire, analyze, and disseminate. Kapag ho sinabi natin acquire, analyze, and disseminate, the union has the power and the responsibility. Okay? The union has the power and the responsibility. Okay? To identify, okay? It has the power and responsibility to identify any, okay? Any key indicators that might be crucial, okay? That might be crucial for the cooperatives. Okay, key okay. indicators. Kapag ho sinabi natin key indicators, these are uh, indications or these are um, values or these are pieces of information that might be crucial okay, to the primary operations of the cooperatives. Okay? Now, bakit kailangang si union ang gumawa ng mga to, ng mga study na to? Because the union makes use or maximizes the use of the advantage in terms of location. Why? Kasi nga, in the first place, di ba sinabi natin kanina ang union is bound by location? So, meaning, the union itself, okay, the union itself must be knowledgeable of the economic status, statistics, demographics of the particular location in which the cooperatives are operating. So, say for example, sa Baggao, Alcala, Amulung area. Okay? Sa Baggao, Alcala, Amulung area. We want to know the economic outlook. Okay? In terms of sales. Okay? In terms of population growth. Kasi nga, this might affect the um, operations of the primary cooperatives. Now, yung mga yon, it is the function of the cooperative union. It is the function of the cooperative union. It is the function to acquire, analyze, and disseminate economic, statistical, and other key in indicators or key information that are crucial for, okay, crucial or useful for the member cooperatives. Kapag pala, ano ha guys, kapag M-C, member cooperatives ho yan. Member cooperatives. Meaning, yung mga members ng unions or federations that are the primary cooperatives. Kasi di ba sinabi natin na ang mga members ng union or federation are primary cooperatives. Okay? So, just a, a group of cooperatives within a main cooperative. Parang ganun kung ba. So, yun it will be useful or it will be crucial for the member cooperatives. Okay? So, yun ho yung, mang, yung pangalawang main um, main function okay, ng isang cooperative union. 
next okay next we also um the union also sponsors the studies in the economic legal and other phases so meaning okay meaning um continuing study kasi di ba nung una meron tayong tinatawag na feasibility okay meron ho tayong tinatawag na feasibility however under um during the lifetime of a cooperative meron din to, meron din meron din ho tayong tinatawag na okay continuing study okay now what it means or what uh what it actually does is that um <coughs> It tends to identify any continuing factors in terms of um, cooperative growth, okay, or other risks, okay, in terms of economic standpoint, legal standpoint, financial, social, and other factors, and other factors, okay. Lahat huyon, lahat huyon, pwedeng going subject ng isang continuing study, pwedeng going subject ng isang continuing study. Next, to promote the knowledge of the cooperative principles and practices. Yun nga, given the fact that we are in, uh, ano, given that we are in a particular location, okay, why not, di ba, make use of the, anong tawag dito? Why not make use, or why not maximize the um, use of a particular location in order to spread awareness? and share valuable information okay share valuable info yeah so yun ho yung isang ano yun ho yung isang pwedeng maging function ng isang cooperative union to promote <coughs> to promote the knowledge of cooperative principles and practices okay we also need to develop the cooperative movement, okay? To develop the cooperative movement. Again, okay, again, uh, it also acts as kind of a support function. In which case, um, we are encouraging, okay? We are encouraging um, the interaction, the movement, and of course, the growth, okay? Of the cooperatives that are within the uh, jurisdiction of the union, okay? That are within the jurisdiction of the union. Yeah. So... Again, yung mga iba, those are just secondary functions. Okay, those are just secondary functions that are actually ano, that are actually self-explanatory naman. Na. Hindi naman na need to explain kasi nga ayun. Uh, hindi naman uh, hindi naman masyadong important. Um, the the most important of these are uh, items 1 to f uh, items 1 to 5. Okay? So, these are the uh, key items that are constituting the main functions if, of a cooperative union from representation okay representation to study and to um spreading awareness and sharing valuable information and support activities as well just like um a federation would the that so at this point you may pause the video and make a screenshot So I guess you're done with the screenshot, I guess. Okay, so with that, let's go to the next topic. With that, we go to our next major item. So with that, we are done with the cooperative unions and cooperative, um, cooperative federations as well as registration requirements, uh, Membership requirements, capital requirements. Okay, we're done with all of those. Now we have come to the cooperative membership requirements. Okay, cooperative membership requirements. So 
with that, okay, with that, we go to, okay, with that, we go to the next, we go to the next item, which is the kind of membership, okay, kind of membership. We have two major kinds of membership, guys, okay? Uh, a cooperative member may be a regular member or just an associate member. Either a regular member or an associate member. Ano ay pinagkaiba ni regular at associate membership? A regular member, okay, is one who have, okay, has, he is one who has complied with all the membership requirements. So meaning, okay, meaning, pumasa ho siya sa mga requirements of membership. Okay, requirements of membership. Sino ho ba ang nagsiset ng requirements of membership? Okay, si cooperative mismo. Okay, membership requirements of the cooperative itself. Okay? Yun ho, ang kailangang sundin. It may be um, under the, ano, it may be under the articles or bylaws. Okay? So, mahahanap po doon yung mga membership requirements. Say, membership requirement requires you to um, have a minimum capital of this. And then, other requirements such as, yun nga, um, documentary requirements, yung pre, ano tawag dito? Pre-member, or pre-cooperative pre membership seminar, di ba? Yung, yung seminar natin noon, di ba? Uh, that can also be, uh, that can also qualify as a requirement. Okay, as long as, okay, it was required by the cooperative under its articles or under its bylaws, kailangan ho soon din ng mga potential new members ang mga membership requirements nito bago sila, okay, consider bilang isang regular member. Now, <coughs> if hindi naman ho siya pumasa under a regular membership, then they will be classified as an associate member. An associate member is, obviously, okay, a member who had not complied with the membership requirements and therefore, okay, does not have the full privileges of being a regular member. So, ano yung pinaka, ano, pinaka main disadvantage of becoming an associate member? Okay, you have no right to vote. If you are an associate member, you have no right to vote. Okay, so in the cooperative affairs, cooperative operations, diba? cooperative decisions, you have no say because um, in the first place, you have no right to vote if you are an associate member. Okay, nor you will be voted upon, meaning hindi ka pwedeng i-vote as an officer of the cooperative because after all, you are not a regular member. You are just an associate member. And other... Um, other ano other rights and privileges that the bylaws may provide. So, kung may mga ano man, kung may mga kung may mga rights and privileges man for regular members na sinabi si bylaws, okay? Hindi ho 'yon matatamasa, hindi 'yon ma-enjoy ni uh, associate member. However, however, if you be, if you started out as an associate member, you have the chance to become a regular member. Okay? You have the chance Okay, uh, uh, ano tawag dito? You have the chance to become a cooperative member. Kailan? When you meet all of these. Okay, number one, okay, need mong ma-meet yung minimum requirements. Kapag ho sinabi natin minimum requirements, okay, minimum requirements, hindi man ho yan yung mga nasa, <coughs> wait lang, hindi man ho yan yung nasa membership requirements ng co-op. As long as it is the minimum requirement set by the cooperative code. Number two, continues to patronize the cooperative. Meaning, okay, meaning, um, it's, it signifies, okay, it signifies its loyalty to the cooperative. Okay, hindi, hindi siya umaalis sa cooperative for two straight years. For two straight years. And lastly, okay, Meron siyang intention to remain as a member. Meron siyang intention to remain as a member. Okay? If those three meet, minimum requirements are met, okay? If those three minimum requirements are met, they will they will become considered as a regular member. Okay? 
So with that, you may take a screenshot again. <coughs> So next rules on membership for government officers and government employees. Ano naman ho to? Okay, ano naman ho to? Kasi guys, usually, syempre, kapag offer government officer ka, government officer or employee, okay, you will become barred, okay, you will bar, you will become barred to um, become elected or appointed uh, in positions of the cooperative, okay, of the cooperative. Like say for example, okay, Number one, we have the requirements for any officers or any employees of the Cooperative Development Authority. So, say, uh, officer ka or employee ka, or empleyado ka ng Cooperative Development Authority, okay? you will become disqualified to be elected or appointed to any position in the cooperative. Why? Why do you think so? Why do you think so? Kasi guys, kapag may isang employee ng Cooperative Development Authority na nag-decide na maging officer ng isang cooperative, okay, mag-decide na maging ano ng cooperative, the independence of the Cooperative Development Authority shall be undermined. Kasi nga since an employee went to become uh went to become an officer of the cooperative, 'di ba? <coughs> When to become a cooperate or not When to become an <coughs> when to become an officer, okay? When to become an officer of the cooperative. Um pwede magkaroon ng undue influence in terms of compliance. Why? Kasi nga employee siya ng CDA eh. Tapos naging officer pa siya ng um, ano, officer pa siya ng uh, cooperative na yon. E di yung cooperative na yon, in which the CDA employee is an officer, an officer, okay? Meron na silang kapit kay Cooperative Development Authority. Meron na silang kapit. And that is what we are avoiding. And that is what we are avoiding. That is why, okay, no officer nor even employees ng mga, ng mga cooperative, develop, ng cooperative Development Authority walang allowed sa kanila to be appointed in any position in any position on the cooperative so any officership require or any officership or even membership actually hindi sila ano hindi sila allowed provided however okay provided however na yung rule na to hindi mag apply kung yung mga employees mismo ng CDA ang gumawa ng cooperative so Diba kasi siya, sometimes we make cooperatives as employees and on a particular organization. Say for example, nung example natin noon that the University of St. Louis to Gigaraw has its own cooperative. Diba? Yung mga employees ho ng USL, may sarili ho silang cooperative. Ngayon, pwede rin gawin ng mga employees ng CDA yon. Now, kapag yun yung ginawa nila, nag-establish sila ng primary cooperative in which they, the employees of the CDA, are the members. Okay lang ho yun. However, if we are talking about other types of cooperatives, okay, nalabas naman ang CDA doon, so CDA is supposed to be independent, therefore, an officer or an employee of the Cooperative Development Authority shall be barred, okay, shall be prohibited to be elected or appointed to any position in the cooperative. Again, because of a uh, influence threat or independence or a threat to independence. And of course, because of undue in, or possible undue influence. Okay. Now, same true with okay, same true with elected officials of the government. So hindi lang ho si CDA, mga employees or officers ng CDA, ang um, ano ang ang may ano may may prohibition in terms of membership to organization or to cooperatives. Officials of the government as well, okay, shall be barred to become officers, okay, officers and directors. So kapag naging official na ho sila ng gobyerno, hindi na rin sila pwedeng maging official ng isang cooperative. Okay, for the for the very reason that it can also be a ma or it can also be a manner of influence, okay? Manner of influence. 
So kung dito kanina, in influence and threat to independence. Okay? Okay, on the other hand, kapag naman ho of officials in <coughs> officials ng government, again, it can also talk about undue influence and of course, okay, and of course, conflict of interest. Why? Kasi nga, official, official ka na ng gobyerno. Diba? Magiging official ka pa ng isang cooperative. Okay, how will be, how will you split your time, diba? How you, how will you split your time? How will you uh, discharge both uh, of your uh, responsibilities as an official of the government as an, and as an official of the cooperative at the same time? Diba? It will cause conflict of interest which will, um, in the, at the end of the day, undermine either one or both of your functions as an official of the government and as an official of the cooperative. So you have to choose one over the other. Ngayon, syempre kapag official ka, natural, hindi ka na pwedeng maging officer. Kasi in the first place, you are you are an official of the government already. You are an official of the government already. Ayan. So may exemption ulit. May exemption ulit. That is kapag yung official na tinutukoy natin is a party list representative. Party list representative. So kapag government official siya, and representative siya ng isang party list, Okay? Kasi, di ba, minsan, we cannot deny the fact that a party list, okay, a party list may represent a cooperative. <clears throat> like, say, for example, Filreca. Di ba, Filreca talks about uh, electric cooperatives in the Philippines. Di ba, electric cooperatives in the Philippines. Now, um, given the fact that uh, um, under Filreca, meron ho tayong tinatawag na isang representative, okay, and the Filreca part, party list has uh, a representative which is actually a an official of the cooperative he or she represents. Okay lang ho yun. Okay lang ho yun. <clears throat> Hindi ho yun masama. Yun ho yung isa, isang exemption. Kasi in the first place, di ba? In the first place, ang function mo bilang isang party list, co-op, party list representative is to represent, okay? Is to represent the cooperative or represent um, the party list that you are, um, that you are representing, di ba? That you are a member of or that you are an official of. So, walang magkakaroon, hindi magkakaroon ng undue influence or conflict of interest in that case. Okay? In that case. However, the general rule being, kapag um, official ka na ng government, tapos, um, naging ano ka pa, naging official ka pa or director ka pa ng isang cooperative, that will, um, ano, that will um, not happen, that will be prohibited. Kasi nga, yun, because of influence and uh, conflict of interest. So, you may take a screenshot, guys. Okay, so moving on. So, okay, so, <coughs> ngayon, na-mention natin, okay, Here we have said that uh, in the previous discussion or in the previous uh, item, we have said, okay, that the um, government officials or elective government officials are not, are barred, okay, or are ineligible to become officers and directors officers and directors we have not made mention of the term membership that's because okay a government employee or a government official okay can become a member okay so they can be a member 
Wag lang ho office, uh, wag lang ho officer or director ng cooperative ha. Forgot my black marker. Okay, anyway, wag lang ho um ano, wag lang ho wag lang ho officer or director. Dapat ho member lang. At least kasi kapag member, 'di ba, mas ma mas konti yung duties and responsibilities mo as a member of a cooperative than becoming an officer or a director of a particular a cooperative. ba? Diba? So, the government or the law, okay, law, um, <clears throat> actually allows government employees and officials to become members of a cooperative. Provided, of course, that there are no conflicts of interest. No conflicts of interest. Okay, so, dapat ho, walang conflict of interest. Okay? Siyempre, kasi, di ba, you are a, uh, you are an officer or you are an employee of the government and you are expected to discharge your duties for the common good of the country. Di ba? Kapag, kapag, ano, kapag government employee or official ka, yun yung sinumpaang tungkulin mo. Okay? Yun yung sinumpaang tungkulin mo. How can you discharge your duties if my conflict of interest ka with your private matter or your personal matter such as becoming a member, official, or director of the cooperative, di ba? <clears throat> at least kapag member ka lang, okay? At least kapag member ka lang, hindi ganun ka-hectic, okay? Hindi ganun ka-hectic. And the government or the law also provides that you can, okay? That you can, um, you can uh, go to general assembly, board meetings, di ba? And cooperative seminars and workshops ng cooperative na sinalihan mo where you are a member at. You can go there. You can you can be allowed. Okay? You can be allowed. Uh, use under your official time. So, ibig sabihin nun, kahit na, kahit na ano, kahit na shift mo pala, say for example, government employees, di ba? 5 to 8, or 8 to 5. Okay? Um, the law does not bar you to go to a cooperative seminar, for example. Pero yung mag-file ng leave, di ba? Um, even if you are an, a government official, so, uh, elected ka, like, say, for example, a governor, a representative, ganyan, for example, they can, okay, be um, attending their own general assemblies and meetings and seminars concerning their cooperative, cooperative where they are a member of. Di ba? However, however, Meron hong prohibition dyan. Kapag ho, okay? Kapag ho, the operations are adversely affected. Okay? Pinaka-primary ho ito. Pinaka-fundamental uh, condition ho ito. That the law provides that any government officials may become members <clears throat> and may use the official time. So, ibig sabihin, okay? During the shift, even during the shift of the official or, or the employee, they can use that to go to the assemblies, meetings, seminars, workshops of the cooperative. As long as, okay, as long as the operations of the office or the operations of the government office concerned are not affected. Say bumabagyo. Diba? Say bumabagyo. Tapos kailangan, kailangan ka ng um, municipality mo. Ikaw ang mayor. Pero ikaw na mayor, missing in action because you went to a particular meeting with a cooperative in which you are a member of. Pwede ba yun? Hindi. Kasi nga, in the first place, dapat unahin mo yung tungkulin mo bilang isang government official. Yun ho yung tinutumbok ng number 3. Yun ho yung tinutumbok ng number 3. <clears throat> okay. So with that, we go to the termination of membership. Okay, we go to the termination of membership. Now, when is a membership terminated? So, marami, marami hong mga ano, marami hong mga types ng may membership termination. Okay? Number one, we have withdrawal for a valid reason. Okay? Withdrawal for a pub valid reason. And giving of a 60-day notice. Okay? 60-day notice to the board of directors. 
if you want to re if you want to ano if you want to terminate as a member okay if you want to withdraw your membership if you want to withdraw your membership number one it should be for a valid reason okay it should be for a valid reason now bakit natin sinabing kailangan ba valid yung reason natin okay kapag aalis ka kasi kapag aalis ka kasi nang wala namang dahilan di ba nang wala namang dahilan uh, <clears throat> Others will follow suit sometimes. Pwedeng mangyari yun. Others can follow suit. Kailangan ng valid reason. Because others will follow. Okay, without prohibition. Okay, it can, in the first place, undermine. Okay, undermine. Cooperative welfare. aalis ka, eh wala namang dahilan, bakit ka aalis, di ba? So, uh, because of that, di ba, minsan, nagkakaroon ng um, impairment in the welfare of the cooperative and others will see that, the f will see the fact that you left without a valid reason and without prohibition. So, chances are, di ba, pwede silang umalis. Pwede silang umalis. Valid reasons may a constitute personal reasons, di ba? Liquidity reasons, solvency reasons, uh, anong tawag dito? Um, other reasons uh, that may be involving your work life, pwede rin mga yon, di ba? Conflict of interest, time, uh, pwede rin ano, pwede rin gawing reason yung you have already or I have already satisfied my uh, I have already satisfied my purpose. Mga ganon. Pwede rin yun. Yung, yung personal reason ko why I uh, entered a cooperative, I, I have already fulfilled that and therefore I can, I, I would like to leave because I've already um, satisfied myself. Ganon. Pwede yun. Diba? As long as it's a valid reason. Pero kapag aalis ka ng walang dahilan talaga, like, uh, as in wala, basta alis lang, hindi pwede yun. And of course, kailangan mo ng 60-day notice. Yung 60-day notice na to, guys, okay, 60-day notice na to, it is designed for restructuring. Okay, restructuring. And this, this so, kasi diba, maaapektuhan kasi ang um, affairs ng isang uh, cooperative if may mga member na aalis. So, it is a must that before actually, ano, actually uh, leaving the cooperative. Kailangan ng 60 day notice. So, 60 days before actually ka aalis, you notify the board of directors because it is very crucial. It gives the cooperative a time to restructure, restructure and to dissolve uh, to uh, ha to undergo dissolution or change in affairs. Okay? Re dissolution or change in affairs. Napaka crucial ho nito. Napaka crucial ho na kailangan ng uh, change in affairs specifically if may umalis na member that's why uh, napaka crucial ng 60 day notice kasi yung 60 day notice ko na yun it will give the uh, cooperative the time to at least adjust while you're still there okay para kapag nawala ka na kapag umalis ka na as member of the ano uh, well adjusted na ho sila fully adjusted na ho sila Ayan, yun ho yung um, uh, first reason for termination of membership Number one is to withdraw. Okay, withdrawal for a valid reason and after giving a 60-day notice. Okay? Wait lang, guys. Okay. So the general rule is kapag may with, may nag-withdraw, okay kapag may nag-withdraw ho na ano na na member, pag may nag-withdraw ho na member, okay? Um meron ho silang entitlement syempre. So entitled ho sila to a refund of his share capital contribution and other interest. So ibig sabihin noon, para lang parang partnership lang din guys, 'di ba? Parang partnership lang din. Partnership in a sense na kapag may umaalis na partner, 'di ba? 
<clears throat> pinibigay sa kanya yung share ng capital niya plus yung mga nalikom niya na um, nalikom niya na increase in capital in the form of interests, di ba? Like um, profits, salaries, interests, bonus. So yung mga nalikom na yun ho, yun mga nalikom niyang yun, pwede niyang uh, i-withdraw alongside the original capital contribution. Okay? Same's true with a cooperative. So a withdrawing member um, shall be entitled to a refund of all the capital contribution that he made as long uh, as well as other uh, interests like yung nalikom niyang fund uh, because of the increase in capital because of profits um, or nalikom niyang interest for example diba? yung mga nalikom niyang um, cooperative benefits pwede niyang ibidraw yun uh, in a monetary manner or um, <clears throat> sometimes it can also be in the form of goods Diba? or goods or services. Okay, yun ho yung general rule. Yun ho yung general rule. GR ho ito. Okay? May exemption po tayo. Ano ho yung exemption? If the uh, cooperative is insolvent. Okay? If the cooperative is insolvent. So, kapag ho insolvent na si cooperative, malamang, di ba? Ano may bibigay? Ano, anong maibibigay mo? Anong mga ibibigay mo? So if the liabilities, the debts are larger than the assets already of the ano, if of the part or of the cooperative. Ano pa maibibigay mo, 'di ba? Wala ka na maibibigay. Okay? So um yung assets na yun, kung ano man yung natira, okay, it will be for the um liya, uh, it will be for the outside creditors already. And ag- again, the cooperative that uh ano tawag dito? The cooperative that met its end of life shall be subject to the liquidation uh, liquidation process okay liquidation process so yeah so magli-liquidate na ho si uh, cooperative if that's the case if it, it, it is insolvent already di ba so yun ho yung exemption kapag uh, may withdrawing partner general rule kapag may withdrawing partner okay ibibigay ko sa kanila ibabalik ko sa kanya yung capital contribution niya and other interests that have been accumulated during the course of its member of his membership okay as a member of the cooperative exemption is if the cooperative is insolvent okay if the cooperative is insolvent yun ho yung first me- manner of member or of um cooperative membership termination yun ho yung first manner of membership termination number two we have Death insanity of a member. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay? Pangalawa, meron ho yung tinatabi nating death or insanity of a member. Okay? And then, syempre, insolvency or dissolution of a member in a secondary or tertiary cooperative. Okay? Ayan. Ngayon, yun ho yung ano, yun ho yung second termination. Ito pong termination na to, okay? Ito pong termination na to. These are uh, valid grounds, okay? Valid grounds. Automatic. Automatic grounds. In a sense na syempre, di ba kapag namatay ka, kapag namatay yung isang member ng isang ano, ng isang cooperative, di ba? How can you assert the membership if yung physical existence ng tao wala na? So that that uh, constitutes as an automatic, okay? That constitutes as an automatic ground for termination. Ibig sabihin, once you died or once a member dies, they are terminated from membership already. Diba? They are terminated from membership already. Again, Again also, uh, insanity. Kapag naman ho insanity, so like nabaliw siya, diba? Nabaliw siya. Um, kapag ho nabaliw ang isang member, diba, they cannot discharge their duties. They may be physically there. They may be physically there. But, okay, as members, they cannot discharge their duties anymore kasi nga, uh, they don't have the sound and the proper mind to engage in affairs. Diba? To engage in affairs. Because in the first place, they're already considered um, <clears throat> they're already considered insane. Okay? Insane. 
So yun ho yung isa pang valid ground for me membership termination. That is if it is for members of a primary cooperative. Kapag ho primary cooperative members, di ba kapag primary cooperative ang mga members niya is um, natural persons only. Natural persons only. So, kapag natural persons ho, ang mag apply of course is death and insanity. Okay, death and insanity. Kapag naman ho, um, secondary or tertiary cooperative, di ba ang members nila are primary or secondary cooperatives respectively? Which is why, okay, kapag ho sinabi nating secondary or tertiary cooperative, kapag ho yung mga member cooperative niya ay naging insolvent, okay, or is under dissolution. Okay? So, kapag ho insolvent na si, ano, kapag ho insolvent na si ang primary cooperative, Ayan. Syempre, it's also nearing its end of life, di ba? Or yun nga, the cooperative decided to um, ano tawag dito? Decided to dissolve, di ba? And liquidate its operations. Kapag ho nangyari yun, kapag ho nangyari yun, okay, it is a ground for the termination of membership of a secondary or of a primary cooperative under a secondary or a tertiary cooperative. Okay, yun ho yung um, ano, yun ho yung um, membership termination requirements. Okay, either death or, or insanity and either insolvency or dissolution. Again, may exemption ho tayo dyan. Okay, kapag ho ang pinag-uusapan natin, kapag ho ang pinag-uusapan natin ay agrarian reform member. Okay? Kapag ho, kapag ho agrarian reform member. Ayan. Why? Kasi nga, di ba? Kasi nga, an agrarian reform cooperative is there for a purpose talaga. That is to make reforms in the agricultural sector. Okay? In the agrarian sector. By improving, okay? By improving uh, the conditions of the agricultural sector in general. Okay? So, uh, in terms of legal standpoint man yan, economic standpoint man yan, lahat ho yun, okay? Lahat ho yun, function ng isang um, agrarian reform cooperative. And syempre, and syempre, like any purposes or like any other wishes, di ba? Or like any other initiatives or any other legacies, yung legacy mo to fight for agrarian reforms, pwede kipamana yan. Therefore, it's very much logical that the law provided for uh, a pamana, okay? A pamana uh, provision. In which case, kapag ho namatay, okay? Kapag ho namatay o naging baliw, ang isang member ng isang agrarian reform cooperative, okay? Yung next of kin po niya, yung mga angka ng susunod, okay? Yung mga angka niya na susunod, okay? Angka ng susunod. Okay? Uh, anong tawag dito? Posterity. air. Okay? Or in Tagalog, angkan. Or susunod na angkan. Okay? Susunod na angkan. Yun ho yung uh, ano, mag a sa duties responsibilities ng original member. Original member. Nabigyan ho sila ng kapangyarihan. Okay? To continue their membership. Kasi nga, in the first place, yung purpose mo to um, champion for reforms, di ba? Hindi yan ma... Hindi yan, ano, hindi yan natatapos sa pagkamatay lang. Pwede yung ipamana yan. So, it's very much logical na gawin din yun for, a agra- for an agrarian reform cooperative. ba? So, kapag yung member namatay or naging baliw, ba? Yung mga anak po niya, okay, yung mga uh, next na angkan, sila po yung magmamana nung, uh, nung duties and responsibilities na yun. Okay? Yun ho yung Ano, yun ho yung uh, kagandahan ng isang agrarian reform cooperative. Okay, so with that, we, you may now take a screenshot and then after we make a screenshot, okay, after we make a screenshot, we go to our next stop. Okay? I quit. So our next topic is actually, okay? Hindi meron meron pa palang ano, meron pa palang 
Meron pa palang. Ay, malapit na tayo maa. Oh, malapit na tayo matapos, guys. For the part 1. Okay? Part 1 of cooperative. Yeah. Meron pa palang isang type ng membership termination. Okay? Mer meron pa pala tayong type ng membership termination. Okay? Yung number 3, which is yung last, okay? Last, and not a voluntary way of, ano? Not a voluntary way of membership termination is, okay? Uh, ano tawag dito? Uh, compulsory. Okay? Compulsory termination. Ito ho yung tinatawag natin compulsory termination. Or termination by the choice of the um, members. Okay? Choice of the members. Kasi, the members can vote. Okay? The members can vote to kick out okay, a member or a, an existing member of the cooperative. Of course, an under valid grounds, syempre, under valid grounds. Hindi, hindi mo naman pwedeng i-kick out, di ba, syempre, hindi mo naman pwedeng i-kick out ang isang member ng cooperative kung wala naman siyang nagawang mali or wala naman nagawang prejudicial, okay, on the point of view of the cooperative. So, kapag kinick out ho siya ng mga majority ng all members via a vote, syempre, termination via a vote, nang wala itong mga dahilan na to, okay, nang wala yung mga dahilan na yan, Hindi ho yun valid, ano? Hindi ho yun valid, anong tawag dito? Hindi ho yun valid reason or hindi ho yun valid ground for termination. Hindi porket meron kayong vote ng lahat ng majority pero hindi na meet yung rason, di ba? Hindi ho yun valid termination ground. Okay? Hindi ho yun ground for valid termination. <laughs> okay. So, paano nga ba tong compulsory termination na to? Okay? First, we have to identify the causes or the reasons why a compulsory um compulsory. Okay, compulsory termination happens. So, ito ho yung mga dahilan. Okay, number one, when a member has not patronized any of the services for an unreasonable period of time. Okay? for an unreasonable period of time. So, di ba? Di ba? Kapag cooperative ka, mga adi, kapag, kapag member ka ng cooperative, you are expected to have this particular um, purpose or you have this particular objective that is, okay, that is, uh, ang tawag dito? That is in line with the cooperative you are a member of. Di ba? So, Napaka-illogical lang din na sumali ka sa isang cooperative that is within your primary interest. But at the end of the day, okay, you have failed, okay? You have failed to patronize the service that the cooperative um that the cooperative ano, that the cooperative provides. So kapag ganun kasi, parang uh, it is a manifestation of losing interest, 'di ba? Losing interest, which is actually, okay, not parallel or not uh, not in congruence with what the uh, cooperative stands for already. So if that's the case, di ba, bakit ka, pa, bakit ka pa naging member? Kung in the first place, di ba, in the first place, you are not doing your um, duty to patronize the service. Di ba? So say for example, um, anong tawag dito? Uh, you are a credit cooperative. But then you are not uh you are not particularly peeved with the uh, affairs, okay? With the affairs of the cooperative in terms of credit. And then, umbutang ka sa iba. Diba? Or like, diba? Or, uh, you entered into credit agreements with other businesses or other clients or other, um, ano tawag dito? Other lenders, diba? <laughs> if that's the case, if that's the case, you are not patronizing your service and para saan pang naging member ka ng cooperative. So, with that, it will become a valid ground for compulsory termination upon the vote of the majority of members. Next, when a member has continuously failed to comply with his obligations. So, kapag ho sinabi natin obligations, it may either be uh, in terms of um, maintenance of the okay, monetary operations okay in any forms necessary or in any manner necessary 
as long as it's for the benefit of the cooperative. So it may be in the form of um, giving out additional funding, di ba? So if may mga monthly fees ko yung kailangan bayaran for the maintenance of the cooperative, di ba? If you continue to ano, if you continue to fail to comply with those obligations, say for example, um, you fail to ano comply with your obligation to maintain and to um, take over the operations uh, of the cooperative for one month, ganyan, di ba? Kasi nga, ano yun? Kasi rotational yun. Oh, if you are absent in general meetings and everything like that, di ba? Uh, that is prejudicial to the cooperative. Kasi nga, in the first place, you are not interested in the, uh, ano, you are not interested in the welfare of the cooperative anymore. Kasi hindi mo minimit yung obligations mo, eh. Meaning, okay, you're not interested in the welfare of the, uh, of the cooperative. Di ba? At para saan pang naging member ka ng cooperative if you are not interested in its welfare anymore. Which is exactly the reason why it can be it can become a valid ground for compulsory termination or membership termination via a vote of majority. Okay, nandiyan din yung member has acted upon in violation of the bylaws. So, ayun, in violation of the bylaws. Okay, so, um, the bylaws can provide for um, prohibition against conflict of interest. So conflict of interest, bawal sumali sa ibang cooperative. Um, you have to, we have to just focus on our own cooperative. Pero sumali ka sa ibang cooperative, that is a violation of the bylaws, de ba? Or yon, cer certain affairs, for example, certain affairs you are not allowed to do, but then you made that affair. So say, uh, nagbenta ka ng something na hindi naman connected sa business and that is prejudicial to the affairs of the uh, I mean to the cooperative prejudicial siya sa affairs ng cooperative then okay it is under the violation of bylaws and rules okay of the cooperative and lastly of course any act or omission prejudicial to the interest or welfare of cooperative so kung mapapansin nyo guys yung 1 to 3 or yung A to C all of these are prejudicial to the welfare of or interest of the cooperative. Prejudicial ho siya sa welfare and interest ni cooperative. Ayan. So yun ho yung mga valid grounds for membership termination. Membership termination. Okay? Ayan. With that, we go to the Okay, pala tayo dito. Okay, now for our next topic in a cooperative code. So next, we have what we so-call as the la laboratory cooperative. Laboratory cooperative. So please be Ano ha? Please be vigilant. Please don't mistake a laboratory cooperative to an actual laboratory. Kapag ho sinabi natin laboratory cooperative, hindi po siya yung ano ha? Hindi po siya yung cooperative na si, uh, that are ano, that are engaged in scientific and laboratory ano, laboratory science or other types of ano, other types of ano tawag ito? Uh, other types of operations or engagements that are related to science. Hindi ho. Okay, hindi ho. Ano din ho ang laboratory cooperative? Laboratory cooperative is considered or it is an actually a cooperative organized by minors. Okay? Or by minors. And they must be affiliated with a registered cooperative. So later on that, okay? Later on that, more on that later. Okay? So ano ho ang ibig sabihin ng isang laboratory cooperative? When we say a laboratory cooperative, this is tantamount to what we call as a mock cooperative. Kaya siya tinawag na laboratory. Okay? Mock. Or experimental. Okay? Experimental. Or mock. Kaya ko siya tinawag na laboratory cooperative. Okay? Because it is an experimental or a mock cooperative. Okay? It's not it's not a full type it's not a full ano it's not a full cooperative which with with all of its full functions and everything like that. 
that a primary or a regular cooperative may have. Okay? It's just a mock-up of an actual cooperative in which they are organized by minors. Minors ho. Okay? So, kapag ho sinabi natin minors, okay? Um, mga ano, mga minors 18 pa, uh, 18 pa baga. So, ano tag ito? Uh, less. Okay? Less than 18 years old. Okay? So, 18, uh, less than 18 years old. So, yung mga 17 years old pa baba, those who have not yet reached the age the age of majority or the statutory age of majority. Okay, they are considered, okay, they are considered laboratory cooperative kapag inorganize sila ng minors. And syempre, ang minor, ang, ang laboratory cooperative na to, since it's organized by minors, it should also be affiliated with a registered cooperative. Meaning, meron dapat po silang guardian, di ba? So, in real life, when we have a, when we have when we ha when we are minors and we need to ano we need to enter into a contract diba we have to have a guardian or an authorized representative ganun din ho dito meron dapat tayong authorized representative which is what we call the guardian cooperative in the guardian guardian cooperative Now, ano nga ba ho yung ano? Ano nga ba ho yung main function kung bakit meron tayong laboratory cooperative na tinatawag? At bakit sa murang edad pala, mga minors ang mga members ng laboratory cooperative? Okay? Kaya ho siya tinawag ng laboratory or experimental. Because it aims, okay, it aims to instill in young minds or in uh, minors, okay, in children uh, to prepare for membership in regular cooperative. So meaning, upon reaching the age of majority or upon uh, actually stepping, okay, upon actually stepping uh, into, ano, into um, all of the minimum requirements, upon stepping up, upon all the minimum requirements for, ano, for membership on an actual cooperative, okay, uh, meron na ho tayong, ano, ready na ho sila. Okay, ready na ho sila. Yun ho yung pinaka-primary na purpose ng isang laboratory cooperative. It is uh, it is designed to prepare future and aspiring cooperative members, okay, to become actual members of a regular cooperative. Kasi nga, diba, um, especially now that children are uh, actually being mindful of their future, okay, of their, ano, of, of what's around or what's um, what's happening uh, in our society nowadays, nagiging mindful na ho sila, um, that's the more reason that we are establishing laboratory cooperatives for uh, them to be trained, diba? for them to be trained on how to actually manage and how to uh, carry out the operations of an actual cooperative. Okay? Para at least, na, pag naging members na sila, they can carry out their duties um, with no uh, due problems, okay? So, uh, it will be a smooth sail for them kapag nagkataon. Okay? Yun ho yung, ano, yun ho yung napaka-primary purpose ng isang laboratory cooperative. That is to train, okay? To train potential members. So, examples ho ng mga laboratory cooperative would be yung um, cooperative sa Tagum, Davao, okay? Tagum City, Davao, okay? So they have, um, they have like a kabataan, uh, kabataan cooperative, okay? Meron din hong mga cooperatives that are being designed by um, schools in the Philippines that are uh, offering cooperative subjects or cooperative development um, bachelor's degrees. So like for example, sa University of the Philippines Los Banos, they are um, offering Bachelor in Cooperative Management you know, or Bachelor of Science in Cooperative Management or Cooperative Science. Okay, so PUP or Polytechnic University of the Philippines, um, they're also offering BCO or Bachelor in Cooperatives. And doon ho sa mga yun, um, some students, especially mga freshmen, okay, it's their requirement to 
conduct or to create a laboratory cooperative under the cooperative of uh, PUP itself. Okay? Yung ano po na yun, yung requirement po na yun is for them to be trained. Okay? To be actually trained as a potential members. To prepare them for actual membership. Kapag dumating na ho sila or kapag natungtong na ho sila sa majority age. Okay? Age of majority. Yun ho yung mga um, primary examples ng laboratory cooperatives. And of course, uh, um, along ano, along the ano, along the training, syempre kailangan din natin i-instill sa mga bata yung values ng thrift and saving. So, this is uh, an example of the financial literacy objective. Okay? Financial literacy. So, in this one, we will talk about, uh, they will learn, uh, in, in a laboratory cooperative, they will tend to learn um, the basics of um, thrift, the basics of saving, okay, how um, finances work, and how to manage finances, para at least, diba? they will have financial literacy. And both them and the cooperative they will be member of shall have diba, full economic freedom or full financial freedom. And syempre, nandun rin yung cooperative values. Ano ho ba yung values, di ba? Values and principles. That is in line with, of course, that is in line with the common good of the cooperative. Its members. And, of course, its stakeholders. Sino mga stakeholders? It may include the public. So, napaka-importante ako na i-instill natin sa murang edad pa lang, okay? Yung mga values and principles ng cooperative. And the primary value and the primary principle of a cooperative is for the common good of all. For the common good of the members, the cooperatives, and the stakeholders. And basically, this includes, of course, financial discipline, business skills, meaning, okay, yung, ano, yung skills in terms of um, how to manage a business organization or an organization in general. Okay, from financing, investing, okay, operations, di ba? Lahat ho yun, pag-uusapan, or it train under a laboratory cooperative. Under a laboratory cooperative. And of course, we also have leadership skills, di ba? We also have leadership skills. And lastly, syempre, okay, lastly, laboratory cooperatives are there, okay, to prepare, to prepare future members to become, okay, to become, uh, ano, advocates of social and cultural values, okay, so, sustainable development, di ba, sustainable development, kung ngayon pa lang, kung ngayon pa lang, natuturoan na natin ang mga bata on social norms, cultural norms, uh, financial freedom, di ba? Uh, ecological awareness, meaning um, concern for the environment. And of course, sustainability. Di ba? Sustainability. Kung maalala nyo yung sa MAS natin dati, or kung sa, sa MAS ninyo, or kung nag-MAS man kayo, meron tayong tinatawag na triple bottom line. Di ba? or what we call the sustainability reporting. Diba? So, kung maalala nyo yun, congrats. So, ang nagturo sa amin nito, yung triple bottom line, or sustainability is Sir Lloyd's action. Hindi, hindi ko ito malilimutan. Sustainability reporting. In which, hindi lang dapat financial or ang profit ang kailangan mong tignan. Actually, profit is the last one. Okay? Ano ang una? Okay? Anong una? People. Okay? And then next, we have planning. And profit. Kung mapapansin nyo, guys, nasa last yung profit. Nasa last yung financial freedom. Ang pinakauna dyan would be people. 
okay social and cultural um social and cultural values or social and cultural interaction in between people we have to uphold okay we have to we have to uphold um good okay better uh ano tawag dito? better consumer relations better stakeholder relations better relations with um the community okay that we are serving as a cooperative yun ho pinakauna next of course we have the planet which is the environmental pursuit okay are we doing our part uh, in making our planet more livable diba and lastly of course we have the profit we have the profit okay we have the profit yun ho yung mga um, primary purposes ng isang laboratory cooperative for you to understand more okay you have to, for you to understand more you can search for these okay nandun po nandun ho yung mga ano nandun ho yung mga um, codal provisions mismo meaning okay meaning yung mismong ano mismong enumerations of the purposes of a laboratory cooperative makikita nyo ho doon once you search this section 7 CDAMC 2015-03 okay so yun ho yung um, laboratory cooperative and yun nga, gaya na sabi natin kanina kapag sinabi natin affiliation okay, who will represent a laboratory cooperative? Number one syempre kailangan meron siyang guardian cooperative okay yun so generally generally kapag ho, ano, kapag ho may na-establish na isang laboratory cooperative ang mga minors meron dapat silang guardian cooperative which is a duly registered primary cooperative Importante ho na dapat duly registered siya, di ba? Siyempre. And then, number two, a laboratory cooperative primarily composed of students, okay? Yung gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, students of a particular school may affiliate with the school cooperative, okay? If any, or select a cooperative or of its choice within its area of operation. So, general rule, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina sa PUP, di ba? Yung example natin sa PUP, the PUP students or the students of the Bachelor of Cooperatives in the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, they create their own laboratory cooperative as a freshman as part of their requirements. And, of course, they will automatically be affiliated with the cooperative of the school. Okay, so PUP Employees Cooperative, for example, or PUP Cooperative in itself. Okay, pwede yun. Pwede hu yun. Yeah. So, Kapag naman ho, syempre, kapag out of school youth, syempre, di ba, walang, ano, walang school cooperative na connected sa kanila. Sila ho ang may choice kung kanino sila maa-affiliate. Preferably sana. Preferably. Okay? Nearest the area of operation. So, kung saan man ho sila mag-ooperate, dapat yung pinakamalapit na registered cooperative sa kanila, sila ho yung, uh, ano, yun ho yung magiging affiliation nila. The reason being is at least, di ba, for better supervision better supervision. Yeah. Need po kasi ng supervision, eh, di ba? Need ng supervision. So, um, napakahalaga po ng proximity or near, uh, how near the, ano, how near the uh, registered cooperative is in a laboratory cooperative para at least may some degree of um, supervision. Okay, may some degree of supervision ho tayo. And so with that, we have ended with our laboratory cooperative. So I think we have already exhausted uh, all of our time for today, mga adding. So I think uh, it's time for us to, ano, it's time for us to um, end our discussion here. And for the next topics, we will talk about other um, types of, or other uh, concepts in the cooperative code. Okay, other concepts in cooperative code, which includes how we name a laboratory cooperative, um, termination of membership of a, co a laboratory cooperative, and then general assembly, and lastly, we have meetings, uh, voting system, and delegates. So hopefully, tomorrow, matapos na natin lahat to, and we will continue with the second part of the cooperative code next week. Okay, next week. And with that, then, with that, then we end our discussion for today. So, if you have any questions regarding our topics for this particular uh, period, 
you may go ahead and chat me anytime, okay? Chat me anytime if may mga tanong kayo, if may mga clarifications kayo regarding the um, discussion, okay? Regarding our discussion. Ay, oh, oh, wait lang, hindi ko pa pala, ano? I forgot to give you, ano, time to, uh, ano pa dito? Ayan. I forgot to give you time to, uh, make a screenshot, okay? So, go ahead and make a screenshot. Okay, I think we're done. So with that, then we end our discussion for today. So you may make your own closing prayer. I will make some pause right here. And with that, we end our discussion for today. Thank you very much for tuning in to our discussion. And again, if you have any questions, lagi ko sinasabi, wag mahiyaw magtanong. So with that, we end our discussion. Have a nice day, everyone.